Robbins, general manager. And if you do play to the left, you're going to have a longer shot into a peninsula green, water short, water left, water long. Literally generations of golfers have tried to duplicate what Ben Hogan did. They've come to the 18th hole here at Marion. I mean, it's a nice place. We have a great intimate room, and um, people come here, and they, they feel like they're away from the casino. They eat fast because they know they're in the casino. Hi again, everybody. Welcome to Inside Golf, presented by Susquehanna Bank and Wealth Management. Today, we are at the shore at the Lynx at Brigantine Beach. Nathan Robbins, general manager. And uh, you know what happened down here in Brigantine? When was it last fall? You know very yeah. well what happened with Sandy and its impact. We, we, we had a little event. Uh, uh, Sandy greeted us on October 29th, uh, the eye of the storm literally crossing 17th Street here Which on the Which is about how many blocks away? Oh, that's no more than uh, a mile from here. There you go. So uh, an incredible winter with uh, with the storm of the century. But you managed to come back, right? You were open within how many weeks after the storm? We, we were open two weeks after the storm. We had our back nine open, and a week later we had our front nine open, open all winter, and uh, we're open and ready for the season. And things are getting better and better. We'll take a look with Nathan at a couple holes here at the Lynx at Brigantine Beach. Also coming up, Later on, we'll have a look back at what happened in 1950 at Marion. It was Ben Hogan's comeback, and what a victory in a playoff for the Hawk. It's all coming up on Inside Golf, presented by Susquehanna Bank and Wealth Management. Inside Golf, presented by Susquehanna Bank. Susquehanna Bank, doing what counts. By PlayACGolf.com. Visit PlayACGolf.com to plan your Atlantic City Golf getaway, where the play continues well into the night. By Club Champion, better fit, lower scores. Visit their Balakinwood location. By Temple Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, now located in Oaks, Pennsylvania. Call 800-TEMPLE-MED. And by the Philadelphia Section PGA, experts in the game and business of golf. Defining a target? Realizing a dream. Susquehanna Bank can help you get your plans off the ground. Whether you're sending kids to college or doing something special for yourself. Susquehanna's financial advisors are worth talking to. We can help you find the smartest way to borrow money and save money in the process. Susquehanna Bank, doing what counts for dreamers like you. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Hi everyone, Ron Jaworski here. I just want to let you in on a little secret. Here, just outside of Atlantic City, you'll find some of the top rated golf courses in the world. Imagine playing these championship courses during the day, then playing your hand at something else at night. Casinos, bars, clubs, shows. Atlantic City has something for all the ways you like to play. So pack your bags for the ultimate golf getaway. Do AC and play AC Golf. AC Golf, where the play continues well into the night. Welcome back to Inside Golf, presented by Susquehanna Bank and Wealth Management. Today we're at the Lynx at Brigantine Beach. General Manager is Nathan Robbins. And Nathan, give us a little history of this golf course. Dates back to uh, the late 1920s, right? Right. Opened in 1927, and uh, it was originally part of a master plan community here on uh, on the island of Brigantine. And really truly was a Lynx style golf course when it was built because none of the homes had been built yet and really was built in the Lynx style. You really can play the ball on the ground all the way around this golf course for the most part. And legend even has it that uh, Hagen and Varden, uh, two of the best players of their era, used to come here and play and practice before they got on the boat to go prepare for the British Open. Well, I'm sure they got a lot of good uh, idea what the winds were because uh, normally, I guess, uh, the winds are blowing not the same direction they're blowing right now, but they're, they're coming out of what, the north right, right. now? We, we've got kind of a northwest wind today. Right. Uh, normally it's south-southwest, especially during the season, but one of the most unique things about this golf course is you could play it three days in a row and it's literally a different golf course each day because the wind can switch even in the middle of your round. And so. uh, you never know what you're going to get. Exactly. And it is a Scottish Lynx course, even though it does have uh, the homes around it, but plenty of room for the wind to uh, get involved in your game. We're standing right now on the third tee. It's a par three. Tell us about this hole, especially today. Uh, pretty good carry to get up there. What is it, a couple hundred yards? It's uh, from the back tees. We're at 208 yards and uh, about 160, 170 yards to carry the uh, one of the tidal marshes. That is one of our water hazards here on the third hole. Actually, a, a good sized green, but well protected on both the left and right sides by bunkers. Uh, three is always a good score on this hole. So you talked about the tidal marsh and a, and a water hazard. How about in general? 
uh, around the links at Brigantine Beach. How many water hazards are there? We have water hazards on 16 of the 18 holes here wow. at, at the links. So it, it is, uh, it's always in play. And uh, the, between that and the winds, that's really what makes this golf course unique. And topography wise, pretty flat? We are a relatively flat golf course. Uh, we've got a few elevation changes on some of our greens that have been, uh, have been elevated to add to the challenge, but it really is very much a uh, on the ground golf course, just like you'll find over in Ireland and Scotland. Now, have you seen pictures dating back to 1927 when the links at Brigantine Beach opened and get an idea how much change there's been at the evolution of the golf course, for instance, the size of the greens and fairways? The, the golf course itself remains relatively intact from its early beginnings. The biggest change has been the addition of the homes uh, surrounding the golf course, but we really have been able to stay true to the original design, Wayne Stiles and John Van Cleek, who did a lot of work up in New England. This is one of their other golf courses, but this one really is an homage to a lot of the courses that you'll find across the pond in Ireland and Scotland. Uh, Low-lying bunkers and uh, the ability to play the ball on the ground all the way around. So it's, it's, it's an enjoyable golf course for all levels. Nathan, we have moved to the back nine. This is number 11. Not a particularly long hole yardage-wise, but it's a situation where you want to be precise on your tee shot, and then the second shot really gets interesting, huh? No question. Uh, this is really a demanding golf hole. Uh, you, you have a bunker that you can see beyond us here that you can choose to carry and challenge, or you can play to the left. If you do play to the left, you're going to have a longer shot into a peninsula green, water short, water left, water long and uh, you've got to dial in the right yardage, otherwise you're gonna have one of your higher scores that day. So the water's short, it's left, and it's long. It's That's all, all over the place, huh? That's Let's take all. a look up there at that uh, green here at number 11. Okay. Well, Nathan, we're getting a look here at this green, and uh, boy, there's quite a severe slope from back to front, huh? There absolutely is, and here's the water that we talked about wrapping all the way around, and, and it really is, you can see our whole location, we call this our Sunday best, uh, up on the top shelf on the left, and, it is a very small target to get it up there, and uh, if, if you try to get too aggressive, well, you're in for a big score. Yeah, and this is sort of a tidal basin, so depending on the tide, you could have water, or if the tide's out, you could actually play out of this hazard. If, if you wanted to and the tide was right, you could go in there and, and take a go at it, but uh, better leave your shoes on the ground. Give us an idea. Now, you have uh, league play here. Right, and you're always looking for people to come out and Absolutely. sign up. Absolutely, we have our men's league is on uh, on Wednesday nights. We just had our first uh, uh, first league the other night, and uh, always looking for people to join into that. It's a great time. It's a, it's a wonderful experience. We have ladies leagues as well. We have senior clinics, youth clinics, etc. So it's really a full service operation here at the link. And if somebody wants to hold an event here, an outing, or something like that, you have the clubhouse with the grill and the restaurant. Absolutely, we we host many banquets and uh, even weddings. So all they need to do is if they go on to www.brigantinegolf.com they'll be able to look up our uh, our banquet opportunities and uh, and the facilities we have a great little bar and tavern our head chef is fantastic so it's a, it's a great spot to come have a uh, have a nice meal it's the links at brigantine beach they're back take that sandy and we're coming back we're going to be going to marion our countdown to the u.s open at marion continues with a look back at one of the most historical of the U.S. Opens in history. That's coming up next on Inside Golf, presented by Susquehanna Bank and Wealth Management. Hi everyone, Ron Jaworski here. I just want to let you in on a little secret. Here, just outside of Atlantic City, you'll find some of the top rated golf courses in the world. Imagine playing these championship courses during the day, then playing your hand at something else at night. Casinos, bars, clubs, shows. Atlantic City has something for all the ways you like to play. So pack your bags for the ultimate golf getaway. Do AC and play AC Golf. AC Golf, where the play continues well into the night. This is really a transformative time in the history of Temple Health. The right people are all coming together at the same time. Really outstanding physicians who are at the top of their field. To develop the most effective cancer treatments anywhere in the country to educate the next generation of physicians. To move things from what we do in science. To bring that science to the care of patients. In the future, it's limitless. Of all his many wins, and it included nine major championships, the U.S. Open title in 1950 may be for Ben Hogan not just a turning point, but arguably 
his greatest triumph. It came just 16 months after a near fatal car accident. Fears were that Hogan may never walk again, let alone play golf. But indeed, play again he would. And he arrived at Murrian in early June of 1950, trying for his second open title. Going into the final round, Hogan trailed Lloyd Mangrum by two strokes. And as play winded down, Norristown native George Fazio was the actual clubhouse leader at 287, seven over par. Mangrum 76 tied with Fazio. And Hogan actually had a chance to win, but he bogeyed number 15 and then number 17. Coming to 18, Hogan needed par to get into a three-way playoff. The stage was now set for one of the greatest shots in golf history. Standing in the middle of the 18th fairway, some 220 yards away, Ben Hogan took dead aim with a one iron. It's the shot that made this high peskin photograph one of the most famous photographs in sports. Hogan did go on to make par and forced a next day playoff, which he won by two strokes with a round of one under 69. At this year's Open at Marion, it's doubtful that anyone will be using a one iron for their second shot here at the 18th hole. In my opinion, if they use the, the two back tees that we now have, they'll land the ball and keep it up on the top, and then they'll play you know, a four or five or six iron to the green from you know, a 200 to 220 yard shot. If they move the tee up and the players drive the ball over the hill, That'll be interesting because that'll leave them with a blind shot mm -hmm. to the 18th green. But and, I, and of course, if they are able to hit a good shot, the runoff, depending on the firmness of the fairways, they could be hitting what, eight, nine iron into that green? Or less. Or less. But the risk and the challenge is going to be the severity of the slope of that fairway. And it will actually take even a drive that's hit right down the middle into the left rough, mm -hmm. which I'm sure they're not going to want. Over the years, literally generations of golfers have tried to duplicate what Ben Hogan did. They've come to the 18th hole here at Murrian and come to this plaque, standing here, trying to duplicate from the very spot where Ben Hogan made history. <laughs> they do, and they all want to hit a shot, an extra shot from right next to it so that we have divots around but that plaque But there's no more one iron. Around. There, nobody has a one iron anymore, right? right? So they just do it with hybrids <laughs> now, right? <laughs> You know, I thought about closing this piece by maybe uh, grabbing a one iron and maybe trying myself to duplicate Ben Hogan's shot here from his plaque at the middle of the 18th fairway. But I thought better of it. Just standing here on the very spot where Hogan stood back in 1950, that's close enough to greatness for me. This has been Countdown to the 2013 U.S. Open at Murray presented by Temple Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, now located in Oaks, Pennsylvania. If you've been a regular viewer of Inside Golf over the past few weeks, you know that Valley Forge Casino has hosted our teed off panel. And Valley Forge Casino features eight great restaurants. And we caught up with Chef Tony Clark, who gave us an idea of what awaits you. I was very fortunate to uh, stage in a lot of restaurants all over the world and eat in a lot of good restaurants. I remember I was in this one restaurant in Spain. It, it was like in an alley, you know, and we pull up and like there's nobody around. There's no parking lot. There's men walking with their canes around the neighborhood. And we walk into one of the greatest restaurants in the country. And, uh, you know, because it's the word of mouth. I mean, if you really do a good job and people say, wow, that was great. Fantastic flavor. Wow. what. What a comfortable restaurant. How many restaurants do you know are like that? And I think that's, the, that's the, the, the way to be successful, is to have a solid foundation with what you do. Viviano's is a great new uh, restaurant that's uh, it's Italian. Uh, I love cooking Italian food. It's very uh, passionate cuisine. But we have also connected this restaurant. We have two other restaurants, one in Cameo. And it's a Cameo is a, like a bar and nashi kind of food. And the other restaurant, which is Pacific Prime. And uh, Pacific Prime's kind of like fun, it's a steakhouse, and you know, I love that. I mean, I'm not a small guy, so I like to put a lot of big things together like that. And uh, we have the best cuts of meat, uh, freshest fish. Um, some of the items that I did for uh, Viviano, which I like, is this uh, shrimp manicot, and uh, has a blush sauce on top, and 
with a shrimp farce. So farce is like a stuffing. And uh, put some like peppers and a little spice into there and everything like that. Osambuka, what a, what a dish I love to do. Um, I did it the Four Seasons. I used to do it in my restaurant in Cape May uh, called Tony Clark's. It's just a great piece of meat that's cooked perfectly. And it, it's like butter when it's fully cooked. It takes a long time to cook it because you have to sear it and then braise it. And it's such a tough piece of meat that you cook it long in, in a braising liquid. And then it falls off the bone. It's good. And here's one of my favorite dishes that's been with me a lot. Um, the first time I did it was at the Four Seasons, and I did it at my restaurant at Tony Clark's. I pretty did, did it a lot of places. It's just a fresh pesto. Now, they, what we used to call it the Four Seasons is bistou, which is a French pesto. And it, the difference is there was no pine nuts, and then we just tossed the pesto with the pasta and fold in the crab meat. Me coming from New Jersey loves crab meat. I love to cook with crab. Uh, my family, when they eat whole crabs, there's nothing but sawdust on the table from the chewing the shells and everything like that. But um, we have uh, many dishes like this, and we change seasonally, you know, because uh, you have to go with what you know the earth provides to you at a certain time. And you want to go lighter in the summer and a little bit heavier in the winter. And uh, different ingredients come at different times. There's tomatoes when they're in season. We can run something with tomatoes, just sliced tomatoes in Viviano. But this is a great restaurant, lots of fun, very... Uh, the, a good Italian feel, a good Italian music goes in here with the bread, breaking of the bread. We have a lot of Italian wines, of course, and uh, our wine program is really uh, something that we really take pride on. Yeah, we have uh, actually 40 bottles of wine that are offered by the glass, and uh, they're very affordable and uh, very exciting. Uh, you know, we have this great casino. Um, it's, it's amazing, so much fun. You don't hear the, kiss, the, the ringing of the bells and and the chatter, it's, I mean, it's a nice place. We have a great intimate room and uh, people come here and they, they feel like they're away from the casino. They eat fast because they know they're in the casino. So we have the fast forks and knives here that go home. We're very passionate about our guests. You know, we, once the guest walks into our room, they're our guests until they walk out of the room. So that we want to make sure they're happy and we want to make sure that they're, they're having a great meal and, and ex a great experience. That's with every guest. And, the, and we can provide that. We believe in that. And coming up, more from the Valley Forge Casino Resort with our teed off panel. It's a great time to be at Temple Health. We have been attracting people who are at the top of their field. I came to Temple to build a robotic center of excellence that is recognized on an international level. To turn Temple cardiothoracic surgery into one of the best programs in the country to educate the next generation of physicians. To cement a new area of research. Right now, Temple is the most exciting place to be in healthcare. At this moment, across the country, families are packing their bags for a getaway. And no matter where they end up, they'll all be home by dinner. Plan your own at PlayGolfAmerica.com. From finding fun and affordable programs to finding advice from PGA and LPGA professionals, PlayGolfAmerica.com has a way for you to get away. Visit today for details. PlayGolfAmerica.com, your link to the game. Guests of Teed Off receive gift certificates to any of the eight restaurants at Valley Forge Casino at King of Prussia. And now it's time for Teed Off, brought to you by Yingling, America's oldest brewery. Walter Hagen, early golf knowledge. Like that, huh? Welcome back inside golf, presented by Susquehanna Bank and Wealth Management continues with Teed Off. And our Teed Off panel today is here at the beautiful Valley Forge Casino Resort. It is the official partner of the Philadelphia PGA. It's right in King of Prussia. 600 slots, 50 table games, has close to 500 guest rooms. And right now we are at the Valley Tavern. What a great spot. One of eight fantastic restaurants here at the Valley Forge Casino Resort. Our guest today on our panel, Harry Mays from 97.5, The Fanatic. You can hear Harry every weekday morning from 10 to noon time. Joe Logan is with MyPhillyGolf.com writing about, not just Philly golf, but Joe writes about golf around the world. And Bob Shepard. Noted instructor, longtime Philadelphia pro. He's up at five ponds if you want to get a lesson or ten. And he also is an author. His book, and it's gone like uh, higher hotcakes. If uh, they hadn't invented the game of golf, what would we have done with the damn 
whiskey. <laughs> I, all, I, you know, at nighttime when I go to sleep, Bob, I think about that. that's the question. The yeah, maybe an hour, <laughs> hour and a half, and then I finally hit the it's sack. Much more relaxing than counting sheep. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. How about a little trivia? Mm. Harry loves this part. Mm of the show when we uh, throw out some questions. <laughs> Harry's I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Harry, I'm going to start with you. You are? Yes. <laughs> who in the great history of golf are the golfers who have won four majors over the course of their careers? Four of them. No, all four majors. Oh, all, the four majors. Yeah. Oh, they've yeah. won each the of the four. The modern day majors of being the Masters, the U.S. and British so Open. sort of a slam. And the PGA Tour. Career yeah. slam. Not okay. necessarily. Career it's called career, 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 career slam. slam. Okay, well, I have, I have to go with Jack Nicklaus. Tiger Jack Woods. Jack Nicklaus would be correct, sir. Tiger Woods. That is two. Uh, Gary Player. That is three. There's uh, two more. Ben Hogan. Ben Hogan. And then I'm stuck. Then it, it goes back a little farther than Hogan. He was a mighty might. He hit the greatest shot. Gene Sarah, the shot heard round the world. The double eagle on number 15 during the 19. I think it was Chef 36. Yeah, you're Masters. In, in the ballpark. Masters. Yeah. Yeah. And you know who he was playing six. with that day? Hagen. Walter Hagen. Walter Hagen. See, now that's good. See. Walter Hagen, <laughs> early golf knowledge. Like that, huh? You got that one. <laughs> right out of that. And hat. here's what happened. Uh, because I heard an interview that uh, – Gene Sowers and did with uh, Peter Kessler, who mm -hmm. calls himself the voice He's of the golf, voice of present golf, company right. excluded. Uh, <laughs> Sowers was deciding what club to hit, Joe, on second shot 15, you know, over the water. Not familiar with it. And Hagen had already hit his second shot, so now it was Sowers' turn. And Hagen said to Gene, he said, come on, Gene, hurry up. He said, I got a big date tonight. Can you imagine <laughs> in, 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 a, in a competitive round right. of the Masters today, like Phil right. Mickelson <laughs> hollering over to Hello, somebody, Tiger. Keegan Bradley, hey, you know, Keegan Bradley doing yeah. the up and back, right. up and back. Come on, Keegan, I got a big date tonight. <laughs> and Hagen had some dates, too. Oh, he had some dates. Hagen's yep. date was probably better <laughs> than Sowers and Shot <laughs> when he hold it out there. They called that, what, the uh, Albatross, right? Is yes. that what it is, two, a double eagle? Two on a five, Not, yep. And you know who was watching? 17 parallels, 15 at Augusta. You know who was uh, on a 17 tee when it went in? Jones? Byron Nelson. Oh, Nelson. Nelson. Byron okay. Nelson was okay. uh, on Watching. the tee. Watch. He heard. That. He said there were 25 people around the green. Wow. 25. 25. Wow. There's that many marshals exactly. around the green yeah. today. Yeah. Yeah. But that's the deal. That. All right. Now, <laughs> Interesting. one guy we didn't mention, and he's won multiple majors. I'm going back to you, Harry. Ray Floyd. Which major tournament did Raymond Floyd never win? Uh British Open. Oh, yeah, the British, because I know <laughs> I, was, I was going through he the other prompted. three. He got yeah. prompted. Did yeah. you hear him say British Open? <laughs> yes, Sometimes. actually, I did. But I, I did know that. It was, was, it was, was coming. It was coming. Right, okay, right, right. it was. Okay, right. okay. He, he won 22 events on the PGA Tour, Raymond Floyd. He won 33 Champion wow. Tour events. Mm -hmm. In fact, Harry, and you probably know this, Joe, and Bob, I know you know it, Raymond Floyd was the first guy to win – on the Champions Tour and the PGA Tour the same year. Same year he yeah. won as a 49-year-old early in the season on the PGA Tour, turned 50, and I think in his first or second, they called it the Senior Tour then, Right. he won. Not that was bad. pretty good. All right, let me go back here and see what I have. Uh, we always hear Joe and, and Bob, I'll let Harry sit this one out, about the best players never to have won a major. Well, how about that? I'm going to reverse it a little bit. Who are, in your opinion, guys out there right now who have no shot, no shot at winning a major, despite maybe a high world ranking right now? Somebody like the number three golfer in the world, Joe, is Luke Donald. Always a competitor, a Ryder Cup guy. Is Luke Donald ever going to win a major? Ever. I, I think he could. Two names come to mind for me. Both of them were on the very short list of of greatest players never to have won a major. Now I think they've got no chance of winning a major. First would be Colin Montgomery, mm -hmm. seven-time Order of Merit winner. And, uh, and now a Hall of Famer, even right. though the aforementioned Raymond Floyd would right. probably have something to say about Not it. Not only has <laughs> he never won a major, he's never won on American soil. Correct, sir. Mm -hmm. The second name that comes to mind, again, 
uh, was a guy everyone thought was going to win uh, multiple majors, and that's Sergio. Right. Mm -hmm. He's got no chance. I agree. Closest yeah. he came was when he was about 19 years old playing Tiger, right? At, right. Uh, I remember at the British Medina. Open. At the British Open one year, oh, he yeah. was on the leaderboard and and blew the final round right. and was blaming the guys raking the bunkers. Exactly. Remember that? Yep. I yep. was there. That it, yeah. I was like, All right, I'm going to I'm going to step out and I'm going to give you another name. Harry Mays will never win a major. <laughs> all right. Despite <laughs> his ability and the fact true. that he's one of the great golfers of all time, he's not going to win a major. Sorry about that, Harry. But you'd want me in your group on Sunday. I Absolutely. Can tell you that. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> for Harry, for Shep, and for Joe. We'll see you next time right here. Inside Golf continues with more in just a moment. The Valley Forge Casino Resort is the region's only full amenity gaming resort, and it's only seconds from the Pennsylvania Turnpike at King of Prussia. It features 600 slots, 50 table games, plus eight restaurants designed to meet all of your dining needs. So put the beautiful Valley Forge Casino Resort on your destination list. It's time light beer got some character. 99 calories, 100% authentic lager. Yingling Light Lager, from America's oldest brewery. Rethink your light beer. Early mornings, late nights, and way too many takeout dinners. Running a business takes energy, determination, and sacrifice. And whether you're a startup, well-established, or somewhere in between, the people of Susquehanna Bank have the knowledge to help you succeed. From cash management solutions to the benefits of local loan decisions, we help keep your business moving ahead. Susquehanna Bank, doing what counts for businesses like yours. Member FDIC. Well, that's going to do it for uh, this week's edition of Inside Golf. Nathan, thanks for having us. We didn't see... Sir Walter Hagen out there today at the links at Brigantine Beach, but we know now why he probably did come here. No question about it. This uh, great training for uh, for British Open conditions out here, and we uh, you know we love our little island. We've got great beaches, a great golf course, and uh, looking forward to having a great summer. And convenient to the Atlantic City Expressway and the Garden State Parkway. Next week we go from the Jersey Shore to Cancun, Mexico, and we'll be at two fantastic golf courses in Cancun. So that's going to do it for Inside Golf. Thanks for joining us. I'm Harry Donahue. Remember, no matter how bad it's going for you out there, don't pick up. See you next week on Inside Golf, presented by Susquehanna Bank and Wealth Management. Inside Golf, presented by Susquehanna Bank. Susquehanna Bank, doing what counts. By PlayACGolf.com. Visit PlayACGolf.com to plan your Atlantic City Golf getaway, where the play continues well into the night. By Club Champion, better fit, lower scores. Visit their Balakinwood location. By Temple Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, now located in Oaks, Pennsylvania. Call 800-TEMPLE-MED. And by the Philadelphia Section PGA, experts in the game and business of golf.